G'day and welcome to Tahuna Park in Dunedin for this huge Kate Shepherd Cup quarterfinal clash between the Dunedin City Royals and Kashmir Technical from Christchurch. Free kick opportunity here for Anna McPhee and gets it in on target and there's a shot coming in but blocked. Laney Altieri need with a shot and the Royals relieved. As B Park lays it back to Mackay Wright. Diaz up against Smith and Smith showing her strength and class and keeps going too and looks to slide it down the line and it just about breaks here. It'll be Potter who gets on the end of it. Has support from Park instead. Has a crack from what a wide angle. and And it will swing in dangerously here. It's still alive. Very awkward. And somehow it's put over the bar by Lily Fisher. It shows her frustration. It was an awkward bounce for the Kashmir Tech defender. And instead, Morton breaks. We'll just have to show a bit of composure to not let the ball travel too far. It's done well to link up with Smith. Now Potter. It will fall for Smith here. Here's a shot from range, but Diaz still with so much energy. Does well to find Kent who gets in past player still going, gets right through one on one, starts across the face of goal and head in the hands because that was the best chance of the second half. Smith battling away again with McPhee, but it breaks for Park who fires it across and oh, Gray, wonderful. It will be Chantel Smith with another corner. Again, hangs in towards, and it's gone in, it's an Olympico. Look at the delight from the Royals. That's what Chantel Smith is capable of. And that might be enough to be the difference. Wind things down, although Partridge Moore not exactly wasting time with the throws, but, and there it is. Full time and that late, Olympico from Chantel Smith is enough to send the Dunedin City Royals through to the Kate Shepherd Cup semi-finals.